Yeah, I was just trying to look for my toolkit. I'm like, where's my toolkit? I can't find my I realized, you know, I have it hidden somewhere in my tools. Yeah, so as I'm trying to open. I'm sure what I'm doing right now. So I'm opening a Dell laptop right now. It's right here. So you see a bunch of screws. Um, fortunately, I can't angle my camera to show you what I'm doing. But I'm going to try. So let's see. Shouldn't take that long. I'm just upgrading the memory. Hopefully this doesn't take that long. It's just, it's too big. Let's try this one. That seems to be the right one. Alright, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this out. Yeah, I like to be very organized. So what I'm gonna do is show you right now what I'm gonna do. I have a magnetic mat. I'm not using it today, but usually I have a magnetic mat. Typically I have a magnetic mat and I just label everything, but I don't have that with me today. I'm gonna bring one back in the office, but right now I don't have time to do that. So I took all the screws out. It should just come right out. I'll just one more screw over here, the middle one. And it does. And all the screws are in place. Excellent. Perfect. So, let's see what we have. Right, this is uh, problematic because it's only two slots, and I might have to need. An, I'm gonna have to do a 16-16. So I'm going to have to order him another 16 gigs of RAM. Because uh, it's too... I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at it. Yeah, so... You see it's two slots. And I only have one 16. So basically, this is 8, 8, and 8. So it'll be 8, 16, 24. I'm supposed to make it to 32. I can't do that with this. So I need to order another 16. So I'm going to let him know. So for now, I'm just going to change one. Um, hopefully it's the right memory. Which it appears to be. Let me just show you what I'm doing. Yeah, so I... If I could go to the camera. Yeah, so I took the memory out and I'm putting in this one. Let's show you guys what I'm doing. That one, so then you take... You just... So easy. Simple. Just slide, slide it in. That's it. So all you gotta do. Nothing crazy, nothing complicated. And then this other one... I'm gonna keep it as a spare, so I'm gonna put it over here, keep it as a spare, and then I'm gonna close the lid again. Easy as that. I'm gonna let him know that I couldn't do, I'm gonna let him know that I have to get, order him another memory because this is a slot of two, and unfortunately, there is no empty slots, so I have to order another one for him. So he's at uh, 24 right now, basically. So. Close this laptop. Closing it now. Almost done. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing today. Because you guys are like, oh, he, Kevin, you're so boring. Kevin, you don't really do anything in the office. Um, uh, I do a bunch of stuff, but I can't show you everything, you know? So. This one. There we go. This one's not going in. Why is it not going in? We're good now. I got it. So, all is good. All is well. Just click everything back in. If it works, it's supposed to just boot up. And it is. Hopefully it boots up properly. Let's see. No beeping sound or anything. You know. Usually you get a bunch of beeps if it's messed up. Let's see. The lights are on, but it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna do this. Power cycle it. 
turn it back on. See if it does anything. Okay, it's not doing anything. The memory is probably not seated correctly. Turn on one more time, just to make sure that I'm not crazy. It's this one. Right, let's try this again. Let me do this. Sometimes Let me do this real quick. Sometimes turn on one more time. Sometimes I probably it's still like in sleep mode or something. So let me That memory is bad. I hope not. We'll see. Doesn't seem to do anything. Um, okay. So problems you have with these the technology sometimes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it down again. Be nice and gentle with it. A screw that's stuck here still. There we go. Should just come right out. It's still stuck over here for some reason. So this is a problem you might have sometimes with computers or the memory doesn't want to work properly. So I'm gonna do take it out again. I'm gonna reseat it again. Hopefully, it comes up. Hopefully, so what you do is so I don't want to close the lid. I'm gonna leave it open. I'll leave it a little open. Put the screws in place, down like that, and power it on. Let's just see if it. Let's just see if it turns on at all. Voila, came on. Memory has been changed. Yep. So it wasn't working. I just reseated the whole. I reseated both memories. Now it's working. I'm like, why is this not working? Just the memory. I had to re take out both memories and reseat it again. And that actually fixed it. Alright, cool. I'm just going to close everything again. Press it down a little bit. Try to be as gentle as possible without breaking anything. And yeah, someone's trying to call me. I can't call an IT actually, but it's fine. I'm not answering that call. I'm busy right now with this. Um, this actually worked now. Good. Yeah, so sometimes with memory, you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta reseed it. Sometimes reseed both memories, the new one and the old one, and that will fix that problem. That's what happened to me just now, if you saw. Um,. is not going anywhere all right we're good now all right guys so i wanted to show you we are good to go hope you guys have a good day later peace